actual fuck. <coughs> what is that thing doing all the way up here? There's a note in the cab, old girl. Well, what does it say? It says... I have gone for a meeting. You're the only engine I could rely on. Please take good care of my daughter for a few days. Money and dad put her in a tender. Lots of love. North Star. P.S. Do not feed her sugar. She goes crazy on the stuff. Oh, Lord. Ah, ha, ha. Your babysitting Britain's most powerful express engine. Shut the ah, fuck up, ah, fucking ah, fuck. I'm a ah, fucking ah, fucking ah, baby ah, this whole time. I'm already their ah, fucking mother. Ah, I said, shut the fuck up. Stop ooh, fucking laughing. <laughs> One morning, Logan was impatient. He was wearing a new coat of paint and longed for everyone to see it. The other engines were still dozing, but not Logan. Driver should be here by now. What's he doing? Sleeping, you idiot. But that means I'll be late. The coaches will be waiting and the passengers will get cross. You don't even pull coaches, mate. We all know you just want to show off. No, I don't. The very s mention of it is absolutely diabolical, dear chap. I will rip your testicles off and feed them to a pack of donkeys in front of you, dear boy. Now run along, find yourself some newspaper and put it in your mouth because that's the only thing you eat, you little infidel. Never mind, mate. It'll soon be time for work. But be careful or you might fuck yourself up and Nelly's not here to save you. Nelly? You mean that dinky little J21 that killed her crew last week? <laughs> I'm okay! <coughs> I'm okay! A large painting of Nelly hung in the engine shed. The very same. Driver told me the story. Listen. And this is the story he told them. Long ago, when Cunt Philly was still called Carla, and the Xbox controller still had pubic hair, <laughs> Nelly was babysitting the Wesson engine on her old railway. The new castle had a lot to learn. One day, the Waitrose manager came to see her. All right, you big baby, I am pleased with your work so far. Now, Mr. Collis has asked me to test your capabilities. So, you're going to learn a different part of the line. We call it the Mountain Road. Carla was excited. Yes, please. Good. So tomorrow, when you have a new coat of paint, you will go on it. Nelly will explain everything. Huh? Auntie Nelly's too old and weak. Hmm. The next day came. Alright, listen up, Carla. The mountain road is difficult. I'll lead. Nuh-uh. How can I learn with you blocking my face? Alright, suit yourself. But never mind the view. Look at the track. Later, the engines set off. All right, darling, look at the track. Don't look at the sheep and the other fluffy animals. Oh, oh. sheep and fluffy animals. Oh. oh, Jesus Christ, help me. Soon their speed grew slower and slower. Hey, hurry up, go faster. No worry, darling, just keep it steady. Hmm. Oh, look, a bridge. Soon they approached Bilal Viaduct. Carla loved the viaduct. It was big and she could see the valley below. Look, more sheep! Darling, please, for the love of God, look at the track! One moment, everything seemed safe. Then suddenly... <laughs> Carla was derailed and hung dangerously over the edge. Nellie bravely held on with all her strength. Stop shaking, you big baby! I can't hold you if you shake! Nelly's driver and fireman worked quickly to make the engine safe again. Then came the alarm. Vodka! Nelly needs orange juice, quickly! Luckily, the signal box was nearby. 
Soon everyone was passing jugs, kettles, buckets and saucepans filled with pee until Nellie's thirst was quenched. All the while, the little northeastern engine was building strength. At last, with everyone's help, she was able to pull Carla with great difficulty back onto the rails. Then they started off once more. The waitress manager was waiting at the top station. He apologised for the incident. I apologise, ladies and gentlemen, for the delay and indeed the drunkenness of my engine. However, I am the waitress manager, so you can stick it up your ass. Yo, sir, this bloody railway is a bloody hazard. That great big engine you need drag our train over the fucking viaduct. This is a shit railway. <laughs> Carlo was grateful to Nelly. Thank you for saving me even after I was so rude to you. Oh, well, you suddenly caught a pin. What a bit of pay if you didn't be fucking destroy it. That, that's very dark, Auntie Nelly. <laughs> Excuse me. You better watch out, you better not cry, you better not pout, I'm telling you why Inspector Ivy's coming to town. She's making a list and checking it twice, she's gonna find out those crims tonight, Inspector Ivy's coming to town. She sees them when they're sleeping Meow. She knows when they're awake uh -oh. She knows if they've been bad or good So shut up for goodness sake ah! You better watch out or you're gonna die This island is out and it's plenty of time Inspector Ivy's coming to town You better watch out or you're gonna die this Ivan is out and it's plenty of time. Inspector Ivy's coming to town. So it's just my girlfriend just asking me about Christmas shopping type stuff and it's Christmas stuff. Don't tell anyone I said it, otherwise it won't be secret! I'm sorry, Senpai. If you kill a sheep, skin it and then wear the wool as a coat, or like a fleece or a jumper. Does that make you the sheep now? Also, I peed in your coffee. Hello, I'm recording. This is a recording. Wow. I think that's it. I think that is it. Cool. Merry Christmas. All the best. Thanks for popping in. Um, subscribe to SWP.